Sorry you're experiencing problems with your digital phone service. Sometimes phone issues can be corrected by simply resetting, or as some people call it, rebooting, your integrated cable modem phone box device, which we call an EMTA. This simple procedure forces the electronics inside the EMTA to completely restart and also re-establish its high-speed data link back to us here at the cable company. Many times, this rebooting action allows the EMTA and the equipment here at our company to figure a way around the difficulty you are experiencing. Of course, if our entire cable network is experiencing a technical difficulty in your particular area and your EMTA cannot fully communicate with our equipment, the rebooting process will not help. We call these network communications difficulties a service outage. We work hard to minimize the number of times these service outages happen to our customers, but they do occasionally occur. The important thing to know is that even if there is an outage, it doesn't hurt to try this rebooting process. You can't hurt anything, and it might correct the problem. If you don't know what your EMTA looks like, it's easy to find. It's a box with coaxial TV light cable going into one connection on the back and one or more phone cords plugged into phone jacks. If you have our high-speed data service, there's also an Ethernet or USB cable coming out that attaches to your router or computer. It has blinking lights on the front. Once you've found this box, troubleshooting is easy to do, and you might get your service back quickly. So let's get started. I'm going to walk you through each step of how to troubleshoot your phone service in this video. First, a note about using this video. Like all our self-help videos, this movie is constructed so that you can hit the pause button on the video control bar at any time we ask you to do something, and then go perform the action we just talked about. When you're done, just click on the play button again, and the video will resume and take you on to the next step. When you're completely done, just click the finished button to return to the main self-help video page. Okay, here's how to troubleshoot your phone service. Step one. First, check all the connections on the back of the device to make sure they are good and tight. Check the coaxial cable going into the box, then check the phone cables to make sure they are snapped into the jacks. A loose cable anywhere could cause you to experience a loss of phone service, so please check to make sure everything is connected and no phones are off the hook. You can press pause now while you do this, and then press play to go on to step two. Step two. On the back of the integrated modem and phone box, you find a small reset button. When you locate the button, use a pin to push the button in and hold it in for 10 full seconds. Let go and you will see the lights on the modem blink in sequence to indicate a reboot has occurred. After restarting, the modem will attempt to re-establish communications with our equipment back here. The entire process can take up to three minutes to complete, so you have to be a little patient. If successful, the lights on the front of the cable modem will be returned to normal and be like this, indicating a successful reboot. If the lights don't look like these, then the modem might have something wrong with it, or we are experiencing a service outage in your area. Either way, please give us a call so we can figure out what the problem is. If the reboot did work, we can go on to the next step. Step three, pick up one of the phones connected to the box and see if you have a dial tone. If you have a dial tone and can now make a call, then congratulations, you fixed the problem. If you don't have a dial tone, then go on to the next step. Step four, plug a corded telephone directly in the phone jack labeled port one slash two on the back of the device. Step five, reset the device again by pushing that same small reset button on the back we talked about earlier with a pin and wait for the EMTA lights to return to normal. Step six, pick up the corded phone you plugged in and see if you have a dial tone. If you now have a dial tone, then the problem is most likely with your home phone or your house wiring. Step seven, if you still don't have a dial tone, please give us a call so we can help you get your phone service running as quickly as possible. From everyone here, thanks for watching.